What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a special one. I'm here up at Lake George in New York for the KBF trail event here on Saturday. Now it is Thursday, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. About a four hour drive to get here, but man, was it worth it. Look how beautiful this lake is. So I really have no experience on this lake. The only time I was actually here was like five years ago for little vacation, stayed in a motel, took the little dinghy kayaks out. This was in June. All I remember was catching a lot of really tiny fish. Water was super clear. A lot of little like eight inch smallmouth bass, but again, that was a long time ago. Pretty much gonna have all of today to practice, all of tomorrow, which is Friday to practice, and then the big dance on Saturday. This video is pretty much gonna be covering today's pre-fish and tomorrow's pre-fish and all the stuff in between. And uh, hopefully we can figure out a pattern, get on some big fish and uh, have some fun. All right, that's gonna be a staple. Drop shot for sure got a chatterbait with me. Not really sure how that's gonna work out, but we'll keep it. The other two rods that I have with me are going to be a finesse football jig on, and I'm thinking a jerkbait. This is all the tackle I have for the weekend. The one thing I did know about this place was that it was deep, it's rocky, relatively clear water, so definitely packed my finesse football jigs. Outfit this guy with a little Straight King raised chunk trailer. Lake Shasta special right here. That looks pretty nice. Again, I really know nothing about this lake. Going in with an open mind, which can be a good thing for sure. You know what, and I might want to keep this flicker shed on. Huh, I'm debating between a flicker. You know what, we're gonna keep the flicker on. Good to go. I think we're good to go, guys. Shall we? Let's do it. Man, super clear water. I just went by that dock. There's like five bass right under that dock. Whoa, there's a bunch of them under there. Holy crap, there's a bunch of them. A couple decent ones. Whoa, I see a giant over there. It's a school of fish right here. High tech M2 football jig. Not a huge one, but man, that ain't too bad at all. High tech M2 football jig. We've been fishing for like 30 minutes. I'd take five of those on tournament day without a doubt. That's awesome. Deep clear water, 50, 55 degree water temps, a little finesse jig. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just when I see those conditions, it's like this comes to mind now. another big one. That fish just mush mouthed it. Like you can't feel the bite. Oh my god, we're on good fish guys. We're on a good bite right now. We are on a good bite. I think it's this jig to be honest with you. Look at that one. It's another solid fish right there. I want to say that the jig will definitely get the better quality fish. It's a weird bite though. All the jig bites have been real subtle. Like they're just picking it off the bottom. You know, it's not like a dunk. There's a fish on there. Wow. <laughs> That's a first. I knew I wasn't crazy. Get your lure and your fish back. Waypoint. I don't know if this bite will last till Saturday, but it's just fun catching them on a jig. You know, most of the spots I've been just kind of pedaling to, just like little turns into coves or that spot I just caught a couple. Just like a little bend. I think these are pre-spawn fish, but I don't know. I'm thinking too much. Just gotta go fish. Get 
again. I did not feel that bite at all. That's a good large mouth. Weird, I really thought we'd be catching smallmouth. <sighs> Kinda wish today was a tournament, you know? <laughs> Mush mouth bite again. It's so weird. Well, that's a big fish of the day. Oh man. Ooh, look at his gill. Ooh, that's not good. So what I've learned so far is that they're around points or islands and that they're in about 10 to 15 foot and they're definitely biting the jig. I don't know, it'd be interesting to see, you know, if I, I mean, I have thrown some other baits too, but it'd be interesting to see if this jig is really what they're keying in on. I personally think so. I think this is definitely gonna get a little bit better quality and it's not too obvious, but oh, there's a bite right there. Oh, never mind. So we're back in like a, a cove and a shallow, a bunch of dead leaves on the bottom, but it looks like spawning grounds, but uh, it is warmer. It's like 56 degrees back here, but this is the importance of practice right here. Not finding fish necessarily, but eliminating water. So if I don't find anything good back here, I probably just saved myself a lot of time on tournament day. Yeah, it's like two foot back there. No signs of life. So yeah, just saved some time and we eliminated some water. It's cool. Bald eagle. One thing's for sure, this place is gorgeous. Beautiful place to fish. That feels like big fish of the day. Pretty sure it is. We got a smallie finally? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Sheesh. They want that jig. Nice three pounder. Oh, it's fun. What the heck? Just lost like the cap to the reel or something. I wasn't even pay atten paying attention to that last fish. I'm like so confused as to where like the cap to the button of my reel went. <laughs> I've looked around the bow, I can't find it. I have a strong suspicion it's in the water somewhere in Lake George. I think it's still functional. I don't think it messes up the performance of the reel at all. It's kind of a bummer though. Oh man, right when it came out of the rocks. Yeah, it's okay actually. Nah, it's smaller the more I look at them. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like kind of lost as to where to start on tournament day. I mean, we got all tomorrow to pre-fish, but I mean, so far things are looking real good. We found so many spots. Tournament day, we just might have to spot jump all day. There we go. Maybe they're all around the side. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, I'm not sure, like, what it's gonna take to win this tournament. I mean, they're obviously good fish in here. Yeah, 15 inch or so, I just don't know. My worry is that someone's on like a giant school of smallmouth somewhere in here. Cause usually big smallmouth schools can win a kayak tournament lengthwise pretty easy. Oh, we got a brown one. Not a big one, but it's a fish. What a fish below me. There's a fish. The drag was way too loose there. <laughs> it's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a big one. A long one at least. All right, I think we know they're around this island. I think we gotta leave here. Soil lipping all these fish. Let's let them rest. Hey right, guys, it's about 3.30. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that little pre-fish. I got an idea as to what the fish are doing. Water temps, the lay of the land. So uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I gotta check into the lovely Howard Johnson, grab some food, rig up some stuff for tomorrow, try to figure out my real situation. Okay, 
guys, we are somewhat settled in. Uh, checked into the hotel. Nice Howard Johnson. Actually, it's not too bad. It was $70 a night. Motel. Can't complain on the first floor. It was a little bit interesting trying to get my kayak into the motel room. Barely fit, but it, I made it fit. Basically, this kayak does not fit all the way into this vehicle, so I do have to keep the trunk open a little bit. Just not cool, you know, leaving my kayak and all the stuff inside the vehicle with the trunk essentially open overnight. So I brought it in the hotel room. But yeah, got all my stuff in there, showered, unpacked, and then went and got some food at Ray Haloba's Deli. I mean, that sounds like a legit name to get a good sub sandwich. So we'll see how that is. Stocked up for the next couple of nights, so it could be good. That's always good for the GoPro, just like throwing it on the ground. So here it is, barely squeezing. Just crunched my sandwiches. Here it is, the Howard Johnson at Lake George. There's the boat, <laughs> it fits. Uh, just actually before I left and went and got some food, just started uploading some footage. Six o'clock, so pretty much the rest of the night. Gonna re-rig, gotta re-rig a few rods, some sort some tackle, probably work on some editing tonight and get an early bedtime and then we'll get up bright and early tomorrow morning for last day of pre-fish Friday for this KBF event at Lake George. But today was a good day. Today, obviously, you guys saw it. We were on that finesse jig bite. It was fun. It was a fun bite. And I did try at the end, throwing some different stuff, the drop shot mainly, just to kind of see if I'd get some other bites. But I don't know. I think they were really just keying in on that jig. I could barely feel the bite. It would almost be like a heavy, heavy line when I'd feel it. And I think they were just sucking it off the bottom. Good day at Prefish. Learned a lot about the lake. So tomorrow's another day. We'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for the final day of Prefish. No coffee maker here, surprised me. So I went and grabbed some coffee because that is essential, but uh, a little rainy, probably gonna get going soon. Still gonna load up the boat. So as far as launching goes, so yesterday we launched right here, Rogers Park. So fished all this stuff down here and all these points, all these islands had fish on them. Didn't really beat them up too hard. Then I fit, came back and fished around this island and. There was a ton of fish on this side at the end of the day. Caught a couple of good ones at this point. So I'm, I'm kind of torn. Uh, I think today we're going to launch from here, Vets Landing Park. I want to explore further north. For me, the pattern, if it holds true to the rest of the lake, they're going to be on islands, on points, in about 10 to 15 and even 20 foot of water and biting that jig. But look how many targets are over here. The only problem is I have to cross the lake. Now the weather doesn't look too bad, but it's going to be a south wind and even a five to six mile an hour south wind through a skinny funneling lake through this can get cranking. So I'm not sure how I want to play that. <sighs> the other thing I could do is fish along these docks over here in about 10 to 15 foot and see if there's a you know the, a reproducible pattern as well i'm kind of torn i don't know if i want to make my way across the lake first and just look around and then hopefully the wind isn't bad and get back by the time i'm done or if i just want to go up and down these docks and see if we can figure something else else out i also didn't hit either of these targets i didn't hit crown island and i didn't hit this you can barely see it but there's a shoal out here I don't know, a lot to think about. Again, this is Friday, it's our last day of practice. Line's out at six o'clock today, but uh, I think right now I'm just gonna sit here, drink my coffee, and figure out a, a game plan. Maybe let this rain die, die down just a little bit more, we'll make our way to the water soon, and uh, get our last day of practice in. All right, different launch today. Let's see how this one goes. You know, that's really far, that point right there. Bunch of islands, but they just look so good. It's a far paddle, pedal, <laughs> but I've said this a few times before. Alrighty, that's where I am. Lots of targets to reproduce our pattern. That is why we came here. All right, first fish. So that's interesting. First fish over by these islands is a smallmouth. It's not a big smallmouth, but it's a smallmouth. So maybe the smallies are over here. That feels like a big fish. Oh, it just shook me. Dang. 
I wanted to see what that was. Oh, crap. That is a big old fish. It doesn't really feel like a... Oh, no. Hey, holy crap. Oh my God, it's gonna be a mess. See that, guys? That is a monster. Salmon? I don't know what fish this is. I'm not good with other fish species other than bass. I gotta net this thing. It's a monster. Give me my jig back, sir. Thank you. Getting all slimed up. Pretty cool. Not a bass, but fun fish. I'm all slimy now. Big old smolly. Big old smolly. Yeah. It's okay. Nothing huge. But there's definitely more smallmouth up here. Maybe it's like a 15 inch or so. Oh, 16. Not a bad brown one. Ton of fish on the grass here. There's another one. Oh man. A little pocket of them right here. Ooh. That's a big one. That's a big one. I promise you that's a big one. That's a big fish of the trip so far. Oh god, there's a log down there. Stay out of the log. Holy crap. Oh my god, why didn't I catch that fish on tournament day? Why didn't I catch that fish on tournament day? <sighs> Holy crap. Well, that's a giant right there, guys. I am bummed and happy at the same time. We found our tournament spot to start, that's for sure. We're getting out of here. Found the tournament spot. Yeah, there's a ton of fish here. I mean, it's like the biggest point on the lake, so it's not a secret here. But, I mean, wow. Two bites there, a small mouth and a large mouth. When they're mixed in like that, that's, that's a good sign. You know it's a good spot then. Alrighty, guys. So, here is the deal. It is about 4 o'clock right now. Called it a really short day today. Got off the water by, I think, 11.30. Just came back to the uh, motel. Actually took like an hour nap. Woke up, uploaded some footage. Got everything prepped for tomorrow. Retied everything. Baits are prepped. I think it's safe to say that 99% of the time tomorrow, unless something crazy happens, I'll be throwing that football jig. I figured out my game plan. I don't know if it's a winning game plan, but uh, I figured out the area I'm gonna start at and I figured out the areas that I'll go to. So I know where I'm starting tomorrow and I think that's gonna be the crucial area. It's this very obvious, it's probably the biggest point in the lake. So it clearly has the potential to hold some good fish. So that's where we're gonna start tomorrow and I'm hoping I can get a couple of good fish off there, maybe even a kicker, maybe even fill a limit. That is the gamble we're taking tomorrow. Not my best pre-fish I've ever done, but uh, I'm, on, I'm definitely on some fish. I think I have a little something figured out. So that in combination with some good fortune tomorrow and you never know what could happen. But tomorrow we actually have about 120 plus people signed up for this event, that's crazy. But based on the research and the talk that I've done, I think it's gonna take probably 93, 94 inches tomorrow to win. So we're definitely gonna need to get on some good fish tomorrow. I get a little lucky. As always, thank you guys for watching. Next video will be the tournament, which is tomorrow. So I will see you guys in three days for that video. Hope it goes well. Tight lines, see you later.